I'm here to talk about creating macros. Macros are stored keystrokes. A couple of things that I will say at the beginning. Make sure you are not diverted by cell phones, children, or pets. You got to pay attention. Other thing too, when you're doing the macro, you always start at where you want it to begin. I'm not going into Visual Basic. I'm going to do a few simple ones here. I am going to click on the view. I am using 2016 in Excel. It will work with previous versions. I click on the view tab. If I see macros here, first thing I always check off is use relative references. I will show you an example in here. I'm going to create my first macro. Record macro. You cannot put um spaces in here formatting you could use a keyboard shortcut here I will use control Y for this and I could just type in a description in here which is kind of a good idea so you can have a reference here I'm going to say okay this one's going to be bold this one's going to be italic this one I'm going to click on the home tab I'm going to make it red. This one's going to have a yellow background. I'll go over, hit the right arrow twice or click twice over. And I'm going to make this italic bold underline. And let us pretend that this is what the macro will be. I click on the view tab. I click on macros, drop down arrow here. I say stop recording. I go into here, hold down the control and the name I used for it, which was control Y. And you could see it picked up the formatting there. Let's say I don't want that macro anymore. I could say view macros. I don't want this anymore. You can edit it here. I'm just going to click on the delete here. It's gone. Of course, the formatting is still there. I could just click inside here, watch this, and I could just go into the home and go into the format painter, drag over here, over here, and then cancel out this with the escape key. Let's show a couple of useful ones that you may wish to use. For example, let's say I want to do a footer. I want to change it, do it on other sheets here. If I go to the print preview here, it just shows page one here. So I'm going to go into view, macros, and then I click on create, record the macro. I'm going to call this footer, and I'm going to use control F to do this. I would not use a control B or a control C, which you probably use here creates footer or document. I say OK. So what I'm going to do, I go to the page layout, go into here, header footer, custom footer. I'm going to get rid of this. I could just say Acme report center section. I want to display today's date right section page pound of I hit a space bar total number of pages and let's say I want the file name underneath it I click on or the tab name let's say sheet name I click in here say OK OK Go on to the view. Make sure you stop recording. If you start doing something else, it's going to be included. So if I go into here, we got a great footer here. I'm going to go into the November one. Not there, but watch this. Control F, Control P. It's in there. Page 1 of 34, the November sheet. So we've got information in there.